Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2021, Paper 1, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let E, F and G be three events having probabilities. Probability of E being 1 by 8, probability of F being 1 by 6, probability of occurrence of event G being 1 by 4, probability E intersection F intersection G being 1 by 10. For any event H, H superscript C uh, denotes its complement. Essentially, it means non-occurrence of event H. Then, which of the following statements is or are true? There are four options. It is a multiple choice, multiple correct type question. So, to comment upon uh, which of the options are correct, let's use Venn's diagram. So, here, let's say this is this represents uh, event E or favorable uh, outcomes related to event E. This represents uh, event F and this represents event G. Coming to the first option, probability of E intersection F intersection not G. So uh, E intersection F is essentially this. E intersection F intersection G should not be occurring. So this is the part that we are looking for. So this I can say for sure with the given information that uh, probability of E intersection F intersection not G, G bar you may say or G complement you may say is definitely less than or equal to probability of E minus probability of E intersection F intersection G. Now we could have even used probability of F minus probability of E intersection F intersection G. But I have taken this. Why? Because probability of E is less than probability of F. So this gives me a stricter constraint, a more strong constraint. So here, uh, this expression essentially becomes probability of E being 1 by 8 and probability of E intersection F intersection uh, G being 1 by 10. So as you take LCM, you essentially get 1 by 40. So this expression is less than or equal to 1 by 40. So that means A is correct. Similarly, let's try to comment upon probability of non-occurrence of event E intersection F intersection G. So F intersection G is essentially this intersection E complement. So what we have is this. So again, I can say probability of complement of E intersection F intersection G is essentially less than equal to, I'll take probability of F minus probability of E intersection F intersection G. I could have even taken a, a probability of G minus probability of E intersection F intersection G. However, uh, this gives me again a stricter constraint probability of f being less than probability of g. So this becomes 1 by 6 minus 1 by 10. So you may say 5 minus 3. So you get 2 by 30, which essentially is 1 by 15. So probability of e complement intersection f intersection g is less than equal to 15. So this is also correct. Now just to again emphasize, this is the same thing that we have used in uh, part a for option a. So a uh, probability of this will definitely be less than probability of F minus probability of E intersection F intersection G. This much more, uh, uh, you know, you may say uh, favorable outcomes are coming, so to speak. Now coming for option C, probability of E union F union G would definitely be less than equal to probability of E plus probability of F plus probability of G. Now what does this become? This essentially is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4 and as you take LCM 3 plus 4 7 plus 6 13 13 by 24. So this expression is less than equal to 13 by 24 so C is also correct. This uh, logic can be very easily understood probability of E union F union uh, G will definitely be less than probability of E plus probability of F plus probability of G. In fact, equality will hold if E, F and G are disjoint, uh, so to speak, events or, or uh, disjoint sets or you may say mutually exclusive events, then the equality would hold. Otherwise, it will strictly be less. Now, uh, clearly you can say, uh, you know, probability of E intersection F intersection G is not zero. So they are not, uh, you know, uh, disjoint sets, so to speak, or you may say mutually exclusive events. So uh, this will definitely be less than this expression. 
and if something is less we may even say it to be less than or equal to now coming to the d part probability of complement of c intersection complement of f intersection complement of g is essentially 1 minus probability of e union f union g basically this can be easily understood uh, using de morgan's theorem uh, e bar intersection f bar intersection g bar is essentially where uh, by bar i mean the complement is essentially e union f union g whole bar so probability of e union f union g whole bar is essentially 1 minus probability of e union f union g now since this expression just now in c uh, part we have uh, concluded that it is less than equal to 13 by 24 so that means this expression which is 1 minus probability of e union f union g it will be greater than equal to 1 minus 13 by 24 or you may say greater than equal to 11 by 24 now 11 by 24 in turn is greater than 10 by 24 which essentially is 5 by 12 so this expression would not be less than or equal to 5 by 12 in fact it will be strictly greater than 5 by 12 so that means d is not correct so my answers are a b and c thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question